Hey y'all, it's Nicole with Living Well Realty. Today I am out in Green Meadows to check on the Guillen home behind me. So they are finishing up the electrical rough, or the mechanical rough. Those are fancy terms for they've run wire in the house. So we are getting very close to insulation and sheetrock. I'm gonna flip this around and we're gonna go take a look. Okay guys, this is the Cornell plan. Um, this is gonna have three car garage, side by side three car garage, four beds, three and a half baths. It has an extended patio and upstairs a game room and a media room. Um, we've got all the brick here, so it's getting ready to be put on the house. That's what this mound of dirt is for. They use this for the, um, the mortar on the brick. So this brick is going to be a painted brick, which is why this is a color you, you're probably like, what is that color? But they're gonna paint that, so no worries. All right, coming in very pretty entryway here all right and it is um, a two-story foyer so you'll have a little balcony up there that looks down as we come in we've got a big office here to the left you'll have a double doors and so as you'll see the wires run around those are the electrical wires and these little blue boxes are the electrical outlets per code there needs to be one within every six feet so they'll be all around the rooms Lots of outlets. All right, coming in further, we have a nice formal dining room here. Great size, lots of natural lights. Off to the right, we have where you come in from, actually, sorry, one more, one more hallway, we'll get in from the garage, but this is a half bath in here. And then this will be a little coat closet right there. And then here is the hallway to where you would come in from the garage. So three car garage, you'll come in this doorway here. This is the laundry room. So you'll have washer and dryer. And then this little entryway here is into the master closet. So I really like when they do that. It makes laundry so much easier to be able to carry it right into your closet. All right, continuing on, you have some under stairs storage. They used the space very well in here. So it even goes around the corner. So that's fantastic. You can walk in, you don't have to duck. It's really nice. Or at least I don't have to duck, but I'm short. So, all right, coming in further, you've got your kitchen. Nice big kitchen. And it's open into the living room. And it is a two-story living room that when you turn around, you have an open staircase and a balcony that will look over. So it's nice and open in here. It's beautiful, really beautiful. Okay, there's gonna be a really large island here that you'll be able to put stools under and have breakfast. And then you do still have an eat-in, like kitchen nook area for, this is a really good size. You could put a pretty sizable table right there. So on this wall straight back, yours, that's where your um, stove and ovens will go. Um, that circle up in the wall up there, that's for the vent hood. So everything is vented outside instead of into the attic. Back in the day, they used to vent it all into the attic. And then here in the corner, we've got a pantry. It's a nice little walk-in pantry. So that looks really great. Of course, you'll have more counters, cabinets, and whatnot here. Tucked back in the corner is the master bedroom. So you do have like a little inset before you come in. And then it's a nice size master. This is huge. Lots of natural light. And then beautiful entryway into your master bath. This is going to be a walk-in shower. So that's a seat there on the left. And anytime I'm doing these videos, you guys, and you see standing water in the tubs or showers, it's because they're testing the plumbing. They're making sure there's no leaks. Okay, on this side, we're gonna have one vanity. You can tell that white pipe sticking out there and the red and blue valves, those are hot and cold valves. That's where one sink will go. And then the other vanity is across the way here. And then your tub is gonna be in the middle. And I know that because that's where that white pipe is for the drainage for the tub. So you have a nice little window seat there as well. Okay, and then the water closet is here. And then you have two closets in this master. I love that too, his and hers closet. So you've got one nice closet here. And uh, this little bench here in the middle is actually, there's probably gonna be a mirror 
um, that goes above it, but that's a nice little seating area where you can check how good you look after you got ready for the day. <laughs> and then you have the other closet here. So yeah, that looks really nice. This is a nice, big, spacious bathroom. It's a very nice master suite. And then we'll go upstairs where we will find the media, the game room, and then all three secondary bedrooms. You know, one thing I really like about this plan is all of the bedrooms. It's not just the master, uh, but all the bedrooms are really nicely appointed, very large. Okay, so like I said before, this looks out over into the living area. But this is still, even though it's a little open, it's still a little tucked back at the same time. So you could totally have a TV going on up here or pool table or whatever you want to make this. This is the media room. So you'll have double doors in here. And this is a true media room because there's no windows. So let's see here, they will have, looks like they do have some of the low voltage down in here as well for speakers up at the top, the blue boxes, blue circles are can lights. But yeah, that looks really good. All right, then we've got our three bedrooms. So one bedroom is here on this side of the game room. Really great size, huge bedroom. And this is a window that they just don't have a window for. So they put it, they blocked it so that they can start bricking. But okay, so then we also have a nice walk-in closet, y'all. This, this is like master size. This is almost the size of the master bedroom, one of those closets. Um, and then this part looks down over into the foyer. We saw that when we came in. You've got another secondary bedroom across the hall. Entryway here. And there you go, nice big bedroom, another window missing. They're taking care of that. And then another nice, huge closet. And that'll be walled in, this big silver venting. That's, that's your HVAC venting, so. They will wall that in, you won't even see it. Okay, then around the corner, we've got the attic down, but here is um, the bathroom, one of the bathrooms. Okay, so you come in and you will have a sink there and then all this open space. And then this will be a separate doorway into where um, the water closet and the tub are. Awesome. And coming on through, keep going. And here we go. You know what? I misspoke, guys. I completely forgot. This is an upgraded plan. So the base plan of the Cornell has four beds. This has five. Okay, so here's secondary bedroom three, another huge bedroom with another huge closet. And then this has a Jack and Jill bath between this room and the next so the Jack and Jill part, both bedrooms will come in here and share one vanity um, and one sink. It looks like there's only one sink here. And then here's the uh, water closet and tub and shower. And here's the final bedroom. Final bedroom, final massive closet. Man, I wanna be a kid in this house. This is awesome. And then you'll also have um, your attic access. So yeah, that is it for upstairs. There's lots of upgrades in this house, you guys. Um, that final bedroom, <laughs> I completely forgot about. So five beds, and then you've got two full baths upstairs, one full bath down, and one half bath down. And then I'm about to show you the patio is also an extended patio which is really nice because here in Texas, we like to sit outside and enjoy the beautiful weather, at least when it's not a thousand degrees outside. And it's starting to be really nice again. So great patio weather, huge patio. This is amazing. Yep, that looks really, really good. And of course, this is your view for the moment. Eventually this will be more phases, more houses, but Nothing has been um, planned as of yet, so we will see. 
But yeah, that's it for now, guys. Okay, y'all, so that wraps up the tour this week. It's such a beautiful home. Really like this Cornell plan by Guillen. This is their last home in Green Meadows for a little bit, but they are building this plan in other communities. So if you guys are looking to build with Guillen or any other new construction builder, you guys, please give me a call, text, email, or you can schedule a Zoom appointment via the link below. Until next time, y'all take care and God bless. Bye.